Hi, look who's here. Shri, 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 Muji Ji. That's not my words, okay? That's her words. <laughs> it's wonderful to be with this man who is everybody knows, but by now we all know this is a man of grace, great, great wisdom, and a great, beautiful, generous heart. So may I ask you just one simple question? Yes. So the question is just simply this. What is your message for the world? Do you have a message to share? Something you'd like everyone to know? What I'd like everyone to know, if I was given the chance to really say that, it would be, <clears throat> I'd like everyone to know that uh, the greatest joy, the greatest peace, the, the highest wish that any human being could hold inside their heart is already inside your heart. And that I would like them to know, and also to let them know that there's a way of discovering that experientially. It is not just some sort of um, uh, fantasy, a sort of spiritual fantasy, that it is realizable, it is recognizable, but it would help to have someone who would guide you into that uh, direct experience inside the heart, you know. And um, uh, I would volunteer myself as one amongst mm -hmm. others who can help in that way. Nice. Then may I ask one second question? Mm -hmm. Is there one thing that you do or everyone could do to stay in that place for peace of mind each day? One simple tool? Well, <clears throat> I, one simple thing. Um, mm. Well, I can say a simple way in which you can invite uh, a living sense of presence within your own self. Um, the simplest thing I could, I could think of right now would be that if you just get into the habit of, uh, of saying thank you, um, you know, I have always been, uh, when I get the chance to show it, to share with people, to get them to say, listen, just thank you, thank you, thank you to say, just thank you. It sounds very simplistic, it sounds very naive thing, but you may, some people may even think, you know what, thank you for what? I want nothing to thank anything for. I'd say you especially come and say thank you. Just keep just saying thank you, thank you, and bend your bend your head a little bit. And you can do this in your room. You can lock yourself in the bathroom if you want. You can whisper it, but you must have a sense of just meaning it and saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And like this, what happens is that all the negative energies that we store up consciously or unconsciously begin to dissipate and begin to break down and leave a wonderful space, a kind of empty space inside the the body and being, and within that empty space, you know, as you continue to, to, to just, even for a few minutes each day, in the morning or evening or whenever you feel like it, just to keep saying thank you, thank you to existence, thank you for, for this body, thank you for, for, for the, the, the use of, of a mind, thank you for the senses, thank you for, for, you know, friendships, thank you for even difficult experiencing because all are contributing towards my uh, my final awakening to what is real. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, like this, I keep saying thank you. And at a certain point, I, I, that a vibration will arise inside, a beautiful uh, vibration, and uh, then I will say that to just continue with this, or um, welcome this vibration, and, um, and uh, you will start to just love it naturally, because if something is very enjoyable, one thing is you're going to want to enjoy it again and again and again. So it will, it's, a, it's a, a very simple meeting that ends up in the deepest and most profound love, love, love affair you're going to experience, a love that will not leave you and not betray you. So that would be a very simple thing that anybody can do. It means that you don't have to be Christian or Muslim or Hindu or anything like that. Everybody and anyone can do that. There are other simple exercises that just, they're just like mirrors that reflect Exp, you know, in a very dynamic way, a very living way, an authentic way to you, the the vibration of, of being. And with that beingness, it starts to come, like waves of illumination begin to come slowly here and there, now and again inside your mind. And they will begin to just, to just liberate the mind from any sluggishness, any pent-up darkness or something, all of that will, will dissipate. Mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's, that's a lot of words, perhaps, but I don't think it can be... For the moment, I can think of a simpler way. Uh, mm -hmm.
Thank you. Then all I have to say to you is thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, welcome, thank welcome, you for welcome. Your beautiful welcome. wisdom and grace. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank May you. I just turn and show? Is it okay if I show yes, these yes, beautiful yeah. people that you are surrounded by all this grace? <laughs> this is Krishna Mai. Yeah. This is my sister Julie. Hello, Julie. Yeah, who you're looking at is Ruben Lakshmi. and Lakshmi. And right in front of you here is Omkara. There's yeah. Sri. Oh, there's Shri. Kali Kalyani. Kalyani. There. There's Joy. People. Yes, okay. and the, no, the last one there is Janaki. Janaki. In, in this oh, room there. The you want. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so thank you.